Boom shakalaka! I'd buy that for a dollar! Hello everyone, it's Vash, and welcome to Life is Strange. This music is, is beautiful. I really like it. I, it's really nice. Life is Strange is a game that I heard a lot about. I've never played it before. I bought it a day or so after it came out, not even knowing what it was about. I just heard a lot of great things about it. And then when I found out that it's one of those like very heavily based like story choice-ish kind of games, I was like, uh, you know, the people on YouTube love these kind of choice games um, when I play it for them and the whole blind stuff. So I was like, you know, maybe we're, I'm going to do it blind for them and we'll do some choices and decide and see what happens. I also heard that this game gets pretty heavy. So I thought, hey, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, today, I think, is August 10th. I think my dad's birthday is tomorrow. Or is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, because mom's was yesterday, dad's is three days. Okay. I wanted to pick up a shorter game that I could do to kind of go along the side of Batman before Metal Gear came out. I did a poll on Twitter, and Life is Strange won over the Game of Thrones game. So we're going to play Life is Strange. So let's press a button and go. I'm excited. I've heard lots and lots of amazing things about this game, and I'm really excited to jump into it and see what it's all about. So sit on down, you attractive man or woman, and let's play Life is Strange. Starring Macaulay Culkin as old man, creepy dude, and Lawrence Fishburne's daughter. Okay, let's just go. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose why. Is this the butterfly effect? I mean, because it has Ashton. Holy shit, that was hard. Ha! Oh my goodness. Head Wow! My ears were not ready for that. I almost went fucking deaf. It's like fucking 11 o'clock at night. I'm sure I didn't scare anybody. I hope I didn't scare anybody. Holy fish paste. Hey, little girl, what's your thing? Where am I? What's happening? I don't know. I just know about thundering. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Oh man, he's like Alan Wake type Please let me make it there. Here we go. Lighthouse. Let's go that way. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is this, a movie? Fallout? Like, you just go the opposite way where they tell you? That's how I play those kind of games, because I suck. But... All the red, white, and blue, all the funny things you do. America, America, this is you. What is this? Wow, dude, it did. Fuck, did Kratos kill Neptune again? Shit! Neptune, not Neptune. What was his name? Aquaman. Fuck, what, his name's Neptune, isn't it? Poseidon! There we go, Neptune's a big fish. Resident Evil. No, it's not. Uh, what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, sorry. That looks just like it was when, when Kratos was like, you dead. Holy shit. I did that one. <laughs> it's not funny. I need to clip this somewhere? Because it's like... That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color. This one attractive ass teacher. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. 
There I'm about to go, look Victoria. at this piece of paper. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay. Why Arvis? I because thought for a second that photo, I thought that said poo. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Let's see, what are we going to look she at? By the way, I apologize right? if uh, and frankly, there's a little bullshit. bit of background noise. It's hot, so I have my fan on. Case. I should upgrade to the 21st Seriously, century. I should have, man. I had a pencil but case. I, like it old and capture you I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. thought that bag said bay. Let's see, let's read it. If anybody else looked at this, October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. It is all too damn hot. Thanks, Global Warning. And I can't bust out of the big, big, blah, 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 bust the big coats and the sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon Kate will let me borrow the October, Red October. Hmm. Is there like dirty stuff in here? Dad, Kate, Mom, Warren. Hey, Warren might be, might be giving it up. Make sure you check out, what is this? Don't ignore this message. Damn, this boy is trying to get my fuck up. Did you want to meet after coffee? No, please. This guy is so fucking thirsty. Look, do you want to meet me after coffee school? After school. I need an excuse to not study. Please! Make sure you check out Necronomicon on my flash drive. Ma ha ha ha. Hey, Mad Max. Let's bust shit up. Wait. I have to study for that physics test. So if we bust anything, it's also to be a measure of velocity. Don't ignore this message. Can I reply to this thirsty fucker? Let's see what mom's got to say. Happy birthday, Max. We can't even believe it's been 18 whole years since you brought him. Okay. Sweet. Kate. Man, this is the only person you replied to? Hey, Max, you around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get tea later? Absolutely, I'm free after four. Talk to your tits later. Damn, you're going to stand up warring like that? That's cold. This boy's been blowing you up since October 2nd to 15. Jeez. Oh, wait, these are old. 925. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Oh, by the way, I am your Faja. Look at my awesome beard. Mm. Delicious. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? If go back anybody to else this. looked at this, what would they think? It's hard to read. Oh dear. Look at that. Oh dear. I love Seattle. Wow, this is a lot of shit. No kids allowed. I go into Blackwell Academy, a unique famous private school for seniors. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't... Hmm. Maybe he's gonna come back. I'm just gonna skim this shit real quick. I would read it out loud, but we're gonna be here for like 20 minutes. Because I read really slow. First entry for my new dorm, September 2nd. Ah. Oh. Blackwell sucks ass! I told myself not to whine too soon, but damn! The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first pair of I mean, official day of my new life like a dork. I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with mommies and faces right now. But I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Cheese? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy-ass clothes. What is wrong with this woman? As if I'm Blackwell to strike fashion pauses. Pauses, pauses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive. But I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. Oh, <sighs> Sweet. There's eight pages in this bitch. I got accepted in the Blackwell Academy in July. Ah. Oh yeah, we just oh dear. You go, Glen Coco. That's what that, that cat is saying. So we know Max, Jefferson, Kate. I mean Victoria and Kate. Victoria look Jefferson. Jefferson is hot. Who's Jefferson? This is only Mark Jefferson, one of the best photographers in the world. He's also my teacher. And he's pretty banging. You better you better hop on that. Better hop on that. What is all this shit? Two of hearts, two hearts that beat as one. I mean, French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she is a good eye. Man, it's weird sitting here. Let's get this. Let's dig in your backpack. Maybe you got something cool in there. 
of their My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. She had a brilliant eye. So, oh, okay. She could have taken another approach. I, I should take a picture again. to prove I'm, I'm still not a big here. Fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of what? course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Shit. I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Cornelius, you're a dick, dude. Just you can point that out there. About him in your text Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> hmm. I ever tell you guys this one time when I was in, like, Spanish class and this, uh, I had a teacher that was... Waste a second kissing ass. That's kind of a... He was a prick. And then, like, he said some really smart, janky now shit. I wish I wouldn't have Here, Kate, we love your porn video. Purge. Does that say porn? That says, what? Kate, you're in porn? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Oh, poor thing. I don't give a fuck. Let's go over. No, I'm kidding. Let's see what's wrong with her. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I think you look like you're on drugs. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. So about that porn that they uh, talked about. What is this? Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Should delete this shit. Is there a button to delete this shit? Oh, never mind. So if you're leaving it on. Let's talk later, Max. Woman, I'm trying to help you out. You sitting here crying because there's a piece of paper over that says you were in a porno, no, Kate. You wouldn't have read this. Purge. Is that even? That's kind of gross. Etched marks. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Go for it. So yeah, back to what I was saying. I had the Spanish class, right? It's a tablet. Of course. Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive ever. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Speed and power expecting new greenlit. Package expanding. That's a lot of money. Straight out of... Straight... Fuck this. That tablet looks like it's made out of known. crayon. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Of course, Victoria. It's not the Even right her button. school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. She just punched her in the throat. That's usually what I do. Like I was trying to tell this story about this Spanish teacher. Pretty much the dude, the dude like wrote on my report card. It must be brilliant to get a grade like that because I wasn't trying because... Cause fuck Spanish. <laughs> I don't. I just didn't like the dude. I was in summer school. 
I, I was the type of person where, like, it, like you know how, like, the, the teacher was kind of being a little mean to homegirl? Like, I would have said, fuck you then. I would have, like, threw my paper on 